All right, the goal in this video is pretty straightforward. We're just going to get all the HTML content done. And once again, I recommend um, follow along with me. Um, but if you want to try this on your own, like we've learned from that PBJ website, you can try this on your own too. And you can always go back to the video and get the help if you need it. Um, so yeah, let's let's carry on here. So if I go back to here, here's our screenshot, right? With the H1 image, the titles, so and, and our notes right here. So I'm actually going to steal. We already did the H1. Let's just take all of this text here. And I'm going to copy and paste that into our index.html down here. Now remember, yeah, see, when I hit save, Prettier just says, okay, you just got a bunch of text here. Um, and if we preview it, um, we should see that, all right, it's just a bunch of text. And while I'm zoomed out here, there we go. Okay, so we obviously want to mark this up a little bit better. So let's start with, well, let's start with the, the image next of all. Um, and I think in this case, yeah, we'll just do the image tag. And I think the image we want is the web logos. Yeah, this one right here. Web logos, the webp. So that's a, a, a different type of image format. There's PNG, JPEG, webp. Those all are generally good for the web. Um, okay, so we look inside of our IMG folder, slash, and there it is, web logos, the webp. My alternative text will just say web logos, like so, and let's see what that does. Go back here, there it is, web logos. Now this is probably way too wide. Um, if I look at my notes for a second, yeah, the, the centered fixed width content was supposed to have a width of 600, so I think the, uh, the image should have the same width as the body. And we can do it in the CSS, but we can also just do it right here. I'm okay with that. Most you might see on W3 schools that they'll sometimes do like the style attribute inside of um, the HTML. Please do not do that. Um, they do it just as a quick example. But when you're building a, a web page, you want to have your HTML and your CSS separate. Or you want to have your, your styles all in the style sheet and your HTML all here. Okay, so let's do this now. This is going to be an H2. I'm just holding shift as I move to the right and hit control X and then paste it, and then this should be inside of a paragraph. That is a fun multiple or some we used for. Okay, and then we're gonna end our paragraph here, and then I think we need an unordered list, and then we'll have list items, and that's all of these things. Headings, I've got an extra space in there, and then another list item, and we'll do cut and Paste. I just double click there to select the whole word. Control X and paste. Another list item and links. Uh, Control X and paste. And the last one is lists. All right, so how HTML is the fundamental building block of the web and defines the content and structure of a web page below some common page elements that HTML is used for headings, paragraphs, and just links. And then this should be a paragraph. Again, get that closing thing. Uh, and this is the start of the new section here. So we'll end the paragraph here. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, web technologies, the image, the H2, paragraph, list, paragraph. Okay, keep going on here, the CSS. Let me just do a quick peek here. Yeah, CSS. Oh, I forgot about those lines. Okay, those lines are just a simple HR, and it is a self-closing. So we should do that slash, just like the image is a self-closing, and the link, right? It doesn't have an opening tag and a closing tag. It's just a horizontal rule. And if you do that, boom, it does a horizontal rule. Now, by default, it fills the entire width of the page, but later on, we'll give the width We'll make the width smaller and it'll be shorter. Okay, um, we're just we won't style it yet. We're just getting all of the the HTML. So this is another H2. Uh, we'll put that on the other side here. Again, we want an HR. Um, when I save it, prettier adds that slash there. Um, this should be a paragraph. 
Cascading style sheets is used to describe a web page appearance and presentation below are some common uses of CSS. So we want to end the paragraph here and then start a list, um, an unordered list again, and just get all the examples. Fonts you do with CSS, colors, ally again, layout, control X, control V. This is good practice. Uh, one thing, getting used to keyboard shortcuts is good practice for programmers, speeds up your development. Paragraphs again. Learn more about CS with the WT Schools tutorial, paste. And I'm actually not going to do the last section. I want to save that last section for you guys to do the CSS and everything for it. I'm just going to do the first two sections. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, pretty good, except for this last stuff down here. Um, in fact, you know what, let's comment that out. I'm going to select it all and hit control forward slash um, below the question mark. And this does a HTML comment. Anything between this and this is going to be ignored by the browser. All right, so it ignores it. And you can add that, add that later. Okay, so this looks pretty good. One thing that I did forget in the notes, though, is I should have added where these links are going. But it's pretty clear there's a W3 School CSS tutorial, HTML tutorial, etc. And I think just the words HTML tutorial, CSS tutorial, and then the modern JavaScript tutorial. Uh, let me just show you where that is. You can probably just the modern JavaScript tutorial. Yeah, JavaScript.info is the one. And again, just like W3 Schools, there's so much information on here. We're in an introductory computer science class, so. I often find online resources are going to be like overwhelming sometimes. There's so much info here. Um, it is a great resource and you can look things up and if you want to explore more, go for it. But uh, my goal as a teacher is trying to condense things and giving you kind of the, the ground up. And we're not doing JavaScript yet. We'll, what we're learning are HTML first, um, which is the, the basic web pages. And then we're going to add JavaScript to make our web pages come alive, right? We can add event listeners. And, click on things and get inputs and change the output and make little apps and you'll see. Okay, um, but anyway, we need to turn these things into links. So if you remember to do that, go to our HTML, we want this to be the clickable link. So it has to have a, an opening A tag and then a closing A tag around it, but that's not enough. The, inside of the opening tag we need to add that href and tell it where to go uh, this is the html tutorial so i'm just gonna go to w3 schools and click on learn html and just use this link right here for the html tutorial copy that and paste it into here and let's do it so that it opens it's kind of an external website so let's do that target underscore blank Right, href that, target underscore blank, should open it up in a new tab. Ta-da, new tab. And then this page still stays there. Okay, good. And then the same thing with the CSS tutorial. Let's go back there, but this time we'll go to the learn CSS and copy that. And now we go here, CSS tutorial. I'm not going to copy and paste this time because I don't want to lose this. Okay, and again, still inside of the opening tag, right? This is still inside the A tag. That target equals underscore blank. So that it's a link, and that link should open up to a new window, new tab. Okay, H1 image, H2, H2 paragraph unordered list, paragraph, links, HRs, I think we're good. Um, yeah, and like I said, the JavaScript, you can do the JavaScript section now if you want or wait till the end, um, but yeah, you can do it, it very similar, right? The heading, very similar process, just good for you to get some practice into instead of just watching me and copying what I do. Um, all right, let's stop here, and in the next video, we'll start doing CSS. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you next video.